With me now is Diana Gomez. She is in Austin, Texas. Diana, good morning. Uh, we're thinking of you. We're grateful that you'll take the time to speak with us. What has this week been like for you and your family? Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's been a roller coaster. At 2 a.m. Monday morning, Sunday night, uh, the electricity went out um, in, in our apartment uh, and we, we were had no idea when it would come back on um, and it, it was getting cold. Uh, it got to outside about 9, 10 degrees at the coldest and then on the inside it was getting about under uh, 50, 49 degrees one day um, and, you know, we weren't sure when the electricity was going to come back on. It was only getting colder and the roads were dangerous, but, um, decided to, to, to make a trek over to my, my boyfriend's sister's apartment, um, who, who did have power. Uh, but as soon as we got here on Wednesday, there was, uh, the heat was cut off and, um, there was no access to water. So we've been shoveling a lot of snow to try to, to melt, uh, to use for water, to flush toilets and, and do other things. Yeah. That is just crazy. Melting snow. So you can yeah. flush a toilet. Um, so your power is back on now? Yeah, so the, the power is on um, at our, our old apartment. We heard, um, we, we hope it stays on. Um, we're not sure if they're going to start rolling blackouts. Um, and uh, because the entire time this week, um, Texas had mentioned phasing rolling blackouts throughout cities. However, in Austin, that was not the case. Um, homes that did not have energy or power were without power for most of the entire week, putting a lot of folks in danger and at risk. A lot of folks don't know how to stay warm during the winters. We don't have these temperatures here ever. And so folks, a lot of folks were risking carbon monoxide poisoning and setting fires to their homes. And many were poisoned. Many did set fires to their homes, trying to bring firewood in, leaving gas stoves on. Um, so it's, it's, it's been a very dangerous week, but folks are slowly getting their power back on. Um, but the next um, treacherous journey that all of Texans are on is the fact that, you know, the whole city of Austin is in a boil water notice. And it's funny because with what energy, with what water? Um, but uh, for folks that, that, that do have water, they're lucky. But it's, a lot of folks are without water right now. And so the biggest thing are people trying to trek to, to go to stores that are empty, convenience stores with long lines wrapped around blocks, just trying to access clean water at the moment, which most Texans, a lot of us are out of. So this is a time when you rely on government more than ever. And we know um, that Ted Cruz left Houston to go on a vacation to Cancun with his family. His house didn't have power. His wife and daughters were with him. They were, according to reporting in The New York Times, going to stay at the Ritz-Carlton during this period. He's now back, and he has changed his story about why he left a couple of times. What do you make of the fact that Ted Cruz left the state during this crisis? Um, it's just a constant uh, a contest um, amongst uh, leadership in Texas to see who is the biggest failure. Um, and I think Ted Cruz definitely failed in, in trying to lead Texas by fleeing the state. And it's just a, a very poor excuse to blame his, his daughters um, it's, 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 he's just, it's, it's been an utter failure. Um, you know, I, I know our, our state leadership has failed and, and, and he continues to do that. Um, a, a lot of folks in Texas are very cold and very angry and very confused. A lot of folks have been traumatized by this cold weather and what has happened, but even more so we're traumatized knowing that we have failed state leadership that, you know, when it comes to a crisis, that's when you turn to your leaders to lead, to help in these situations of, of, of dire need. And when we needed leadership the most, they failed us and fled the country. You know, Ted Cruz, a, a lot of folks here in Texas were not fans of him at all and, and can't uh, believe that he keeps getting uh, reelected, you know, incredibly sexist, homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic. And it's so funny. Um, I don't know if it should be funny, but he, he often touts a lot of anti-immigrant rhetoric, especially when it comes to Mexico. And so the fact that he said he was fleeing there for a better vacation for his children, when there are a lot of immigrants that come here for a better life, is just I, I baffling. Diana Gomez, we wish you all the best. Um, thank you again for taking the time to speak with us. You be well and take care. 